Designer Logic now has a Gantt chart feature where you can project tasks on a project over time in a date range view. This is found in the projections section, where here you can see a list of all your active projects. Now if a project has tasks on it that are checked for viewing in a Gantt, you'll see right here some notifications and a button called View Gantt. Hit the button and it will open up the Gantt chart for that project. And here you'll see this chart has three phases, or this project has three phases on it. And you can see each of these tasks listed out in the date range uh, Gantt view right here. And if you want to click on a task, it will bring you back to that particular task in the date range as well. Now you can filter this list. If you want to filter it by just say keywords right here, you can hit uh, the keyword box and type in something like presentation, hit filter. And here you'll see all the tasks that have that keyword in it. Um, and then you can also clear those filters by hitting the clear filter button and it's going to return your chart back to how it was before it was filtered. Now if you click on a task that's say down here, it will bring it again right to that date range. You can also click edit tasks and here you'll see a list of all those tasks uh, right here and you can edit them, uh, change the dates if you need to, the priorities and things like that on the fly. Um, and then that will adjust the Gantt chart down below automatically. Now let's take a look at how you put tasks on the Gantt chart. So let's close the Gantt chart page and back in the projections section of Designer Logic, you, you'll see all your active projects. And if you click on the add new link here, you can see phase, task, and event. Now for the Gantt chart, you can uh, add a task directly uh, to a project if it has phases. The phases are basically groupings of a project. Usually projects have things like phase one, phase two, phase three, or something like picking a project as a phase, demolition might be a phase, presentation to the client might be a phase. Um, so you want to make sure that the project has a phase so that you can put tasks on that phase because that's how they go in the Gantt chart. So to create a phase for the project, just hit phase. And here you can put in Anything you want for that phase title, you can put in a begin date and a completion goal, um, some status information, hit save close, or you can add another phase to that project very quickly. And once you do that, you can then go directly to the add a task link. And here you want to choose the project you want to add that task to. And down here, if it has a phase, uh, you want to select the phase it goes on. And then down here, once you have the phase selected, you're going to have this add to Gantt option here. So you can say I want to add it to the Gantt chart and then you want to make sure that you put in a begin date and you want to make sure you put in an end date or a due date as well. It has to have a begin and a due date and those three things right here will put this automatically on that Gantt chart. You can also put existing tasks on a Gantt chart from the task detail form. Let's go over to the task list. And down here, and any of the tasks we have that are older tasks that you want to put on the new Gantt chart feature, if you click on the edit link over here to the right, you'll see the task detail page open up where you can edit it. Now, if you click the edit checkbox, you can change the due date on that task, and you'll notice that there's no Gantt option here uh, right now. But if you put this task on a phase, which is required for the Gantt chart, um, now you can add it to uh, the Gantt chart and put in a due date and a begin date right here. So you can add an existing task to the Gantt chart, but again, it has to have a phase. So if you open up an old task, make sure you put on a project phase, and then you can add it to the Gantt chart like that.